Hey guys, it's Smallmouth Crush on behalf of Monster Bass. Today we're talking about the Space Monkey. What is the Space Monkey? Well, it's a cool name for sure, but it's also an awesome bait. It's made by Strike King, part of the Rage Tail series. And if we open this up, we got some green pumpkin Space Monkeys. Look at that. What a unique little creature bait. I really like the Rage Tail aspect of the Strike King soft plastic baits. It gives an unbelievable vibration, an awesome kick in the water that's going to help that bass locate this bait and hopefully grab it. We're going to actually tie one on right now. Real simple setup. I'm going to Texas rig this bait. And so I have an extra wide gap, four rod hook, which fits perfectly into this plastic. And what's nice about a Texas rig bait, of course, is I'm, I'm able to push this plastic over the hook point, which allows me to make that bait become weedless. And I'm using a quarter ounce weight, tungsten weight, I have a little bobber stopper to hold it in place. And it's a real simple but effective setup. So I'm actually going to be throwing this on 15 pound fluorocarbon. I have a bait cast uh, setup here. High speed reel, it's an 8 to 5. And then I'm using a 7 foot 4 medium heavy extra fast rod. And you can throw this bait, there's so many different applications for this bait. Uh, man, I don't even know where to begin. It, for instance, here, I'm going to be fishing this in some scattered grass. So I'm fishing a pocket. There's a lot of fish kind of hanging out, ambushing crayfish and perch. And this is a great imitator of both. Not only the crayfish, but also it has that vibration. That fish is going to think something is just swimming around down there in that grass. And they're going to come over and investigate and hopefully open their big fat mouth and we can catch one. So I'm going to be tossing around the vegetation. I'm just going to be working it back, trying some different types of cadences, different retrieves. I might hop it a little bit. I might just drag it. I might shake it around the grass clumps. You can also punch with this. So if you have some heavy matted up vegetation, you can actually put a heavier weight on, maybe a half ounce or an ounce weight, Texas rig it, punch it through that grass, that canopy, whatever the case may be, lily pads, cattails, uh, milfoil, coontail, hydrilla, whatever type of vegetation that you have and you think those bass are in it, you'll be able to put that bait right in the feeding zone. So I'm going to get up here, get to work. I'm going to work some of the scattered grass and just slowly uh, bring this space monkey back and hopefully it's going to get me a nice big bass. He's hung up. He's crazy by thought. But it's a fish. Space monkey's the deal. Put a nice little bass in the boat. I almost lost that fish. All right, so here's the deal. I wanted to I wanted to work the space monkey with that little heavier weight in this vegetation and kind of shake it off the the grass, but I wasn't getting any bites, and so I went to the bank and just worked it around some of this wood in the back, and you can see I. I got that butt, that bite on the back side of that dock. So thankfully, because of that heavier line that I had and this nice, nice uh, medium heavy rod, I was able to keep that fish hooked up and get them in the boat. That was, a, that was a little fight there, that's for sure. Well, you can see there's a lot of applications for that Strike King Space Monkey. It's, uh, it's a great bait, it's very versatile. I was obviously, uh, so I was flipping it in the grass and of course you can flip it along 
in some of the wood, uh, some of the nastiest cover that you can find. As long as it's Texas rig, you shouldn't have a problem. So I encourage you guys to pick up a pack of the Space Monkey. Give it a try. I'm sure it's going to help you put some more fish in the boat this season. And as always, until next time, we'll see you guys on the water. Thank you.